As cities and towns grow over time, existing transportation infrastructure becomes stressed by increased demand, and many roadways are forced to carry significantly more traffic than they were originally designed for. Strode is a street road hybrid. We call this the futon of transportation, where a futon is an uncomfortable couch that makes into an uncomfortable bed. A strode tries to be both street and road at the same time, and it does neither very well. The increased number of traffic lanes and complex intersections on strodes come at a real cost to efficiency and access to nearby businesses, as well as safety, particularly for our most vulnerable road users, like pedestrians and bicyclists. Here in Greenville, businesses along these strode corridors are struggling, resulting in declining tax revenue. We want to redevelop walkable, denser, mixed-use boulevards, but face the very real issue that high traffic volume is literally going nowhere fast. Our project team has developed cutting-edge roadway designs that can stimulate future mixed-use development and support high levels of multimodal activity in safe, people-friendly ways. Multimodal means that these designs support all kinds of users, whether they choose to walk, bike, use transit, or drive. This project will show the nation how to catalyze walkable, sustainable, and equitable urban development using innovative transportation strategies. It's led by North Carolina State University's Institute for Transportation Research and Education and the College of Design. Key partners in the project include North Carolina Department of Transportation, the City of Greenville, consultants at Urban Innovators, and the renowned nonprofit Strong Towns. With the Civic Stage 1 planning grant from the National Science Foundation, we covered four primary areas. First, our civic and research team met often to identify obstacles and opportunities. Second, we created renderings and animations to show how our cutting edge designs can be applied to catalyze walkable, mixed use environments. Third, we developed a community and stakeholder engagement strategy. And fourth, we plan staff and developer workshops to build capacity for implementation. What I like about this is that it gives us a new way to look at our city, new ways to think about getting people around, and as you said, the win, 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 win. Alternative intersection designs are expanding rapidly across the nation, but unfortunately, they've all been motor vehicle oriented. Our project work is innovative because we're adapting those design concepts to move high volumes of traffic at pedestrian and bike compatible speeds. We call it drive slower, travel faster. Drive slower, travel faster is like the tortoise and the hare. On standard roads, the hare races forward at high speed only to get stuck waiting at red lights. With our new breakthrough designs, the tortoise has the advantage. With this cutting edge research, we can finally reduce maximum speeds to much safer levels and drivers still get through as quickly as before, if not faster. That's because they get a lot more green lights. It's really win-win for everyone. The city of Greenville was selected as an ideal candidate to demonstrate our key ideas and alternative intersection designs. These renderings show features like quadrant and U-turn intersections, slow lanes, reverse angle parking, mid-block pedestrian crossings, outdoor dining, a mix of vehicle sizes, and more. These renderings show how existing roads can be redeveloped as one-way couplets, creating space for many of the same complete street features. Creating safer, walkable, and bikeable streets while increasing efficiency for cars and trucks, this really is a win-win-win for safety, sustainability, and equity. Our vision for Stage 2 of the Civic Grant is to turn this early concept work into actionable tools and strategies for national use. This will include working with stakeholders to test these designs, develop financing strategies, build community support, and more. Many generations of our nation's drivers have used automobiles to commute to their jobs in the city while enjoying more living space in the suburbs. As more Americans follow this path, traffic congestion came along with it. Now our suburbs are massively inequitable for those who can't drive, can't afford to drive, shouldn't drive, or don't want to drive. By using a new generation of placemaking alternative intersections, we can finally make it nice to live along those previously hostile strodes where everyone can have equitable access to opportunity through an excellent array of alternative travel modes.